Hi everyone, this is hashtag what's up Wednesday. Hope you guys are doing um, well today. I'm just going to catch you up on what uh, I've been doing this week. Obviously, um, beginning of the week I was, I've was i been working and today too, but I am going to catch you guys up on my lunch break. And um, as I had promised before, I was going to go ahead and do a gorgeous girls um, update with one of the cards from those postcards that I had shared with you. And I did that. I used this stamp here, and um, she's super adorable. And I kind of picked up on the same colors, so I'll share with you on that. Also used this old um, stamping set from Stampin' Up. It's the Magical Mermaid. I used one sentiment and uh, some sand on that as well. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. But before I do, make sure that you also check out hashtag Gorgeous Girls Crafts that is brought to you by um, Janet K. That's uh, Crafts and Tea with Janet K. And uh, she does the Gorgeous Girls Crafts. And this um, card is um, basically done for that collab as well. So it's it's my, my collab, the What's Up Wednesday, which you guys are welcome to join up. It's just a simple update, midweek update, um, just to let us know what you're up to. And uh, it can be um, anything. It can be a cooking video. It can be whatever you want it to be. It's just um, kind of giving us an update of what your what your week is looking like. Uh, but with for, uh, without further ado, this is what I ended up creating with that card. I'm sorry, with that stamp. So as you remember from the previous weeks, um, I had used a postcard in the background that I had cut a little bit just to kind of fit the card. And then I went ahead and stamped the little gorgeous girl and colored her in and put her on a dimensional pop-up, added some little... Um, just cut out that I had fussy cut off of some paper that I happen to have. It's old Stampin' Up! paper. Big surprise there. Also added a brown, well, I'd say it's more of a tan background there. And then just to make it look like it had a little bit of texture to it, I did stamp off the little bit of um, sand pebbles that I showed you from that stamp set. Um, this here. So that's what that is. Then on the inside... Um, I stamped the Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes, and I also added a little bit of paper just to kind of uh, pull everything together because obviously I used some of this paper in the front of the card. So that's kind of what I did, and it just kind of gives it a little more interest. And then as I, um, you know, cr create this card for someone special, I will probably add more to it. I might even add a sentiment on the front, like sun, sand, and sea, something like that. I don't know. It also depends on whether it's a birthday card or a, um, you know, thinking of you card or whatever. So I can always add to it, but that is what I've got for right now. And I just think it's cool. I love these postcards so much. And as a reminder, guys, the postcards that I'm talking about are the Timu ones. Um, you can check back in videos previous where I had shared kind of more of a picture of them and everything. I'll try to uh, attach it to this video as well so you guys can check back. But that's what the cards look like. And um, there's the pictures of them all. And I just had pulled some of the ones that I could use with my gorgeous girls. And um, previously I had done the spaceship one. I've got her still, still here. So there's the, the space girl one. I don't know. I'm just calling her a space girl. Then this one's the beach girl. Um, and then just because it's 4th of July, I thought it'd be perfect to just do the red, white, and blue. So there's that. So that is what I'm up to, guys. And then also, um, Thelma Hall, in one of her last What's Up Wednesdays, I think it was the Wednesday before, she had done some patchwork type of things, so where she had taken like pieces of paper and just glued it to um, a solid, it looked like it was a 12 by 12, and she had just um, cut it out into like pocket letters and that sort of thing. So I ended up doing the same thing with some of my leftover paper from the butterflies um, that I had created recently, and these were just scraps, and I just basically took one big piece of paper and um, in my case, it was the, just the regular letter size paper. So it was a, pl a plain old peach color. 
I just have an access of these. I had had, I had created a project for someone, I don't know, probably like seven years ago. And I have so much of this peach paper that I just thought, okay, well, I'll just use it for um, background on this. So that's what I did. And um, just different, just different pieces of paper that I glued on there. And now these are gonna serve as background to some other project. So obviously these would be twin cheese, which by the way is also hosted by uh, Janet Kay. She does twin -see, twin cheese whenever. So if you guys are interested in that, it's another cool collab you guys could do. Um, as you know, I'm, I, I try to support all channels and I'm a huge supporter of everyone. So I tend to do a lot of collabs. So that's why I'm doing this. But um, here's one that's just kind of a two by two. So yeah, that is what I did with some of this, um, just tw uh, Thelma's idea was really cool. And of course, like I said, it's just like little bits of paper that, um, you know, you can just do something really cool with. And I think they look pretty. And then I'll just add to them and make them look cuter. And I will show you guys my progress. If not on this video, uh, possibly in uh, another, you know, maybe Fun Card Friday or something like that. The only other thing that I've got going on is, remember the birthday cards that I created the other day? Um, I had some leftover paper, so I'm gonna probably take some of this and either create more cards or tags or, you know, whatever. But I mean, these are a decent size still, and I think that I should be able to create quite a bit with it. So again, just using my paper, and this is paper that I've had for years and years. I could probably go years without buying paper and I would be totally fine. Honestly, my son will probably inherit as, as much paper as I have. It sounds crazy, but yes, it's, it's nuts how much paper I have. But ask me if I buy more. Usually I do. <laughs> Anyhow, ladies, um, well, ladies and gents, I do have some subscribers that are gentlemen as well. And um, I really adore you guys and hope that you all are having a very good day. Uh, make sure that you check out all the collabs that I mentioned, the Twin She, uh, Twin she Whenever, the um, obviously the What's Up Wednesday. I would love for you guys to join that collab. Um, and also the one for Gorgeous Girls Crafts. Again, that's uh, with Janet K. So it's Crafts and Tea with Janet K. Talk to you all soon and hope you're having a good day. Bye-bye.